Hi again, this is the 10th tutorial on HTML2 WordPress. In the last tutorial, we have finished creating our basic WordPress theme, yay us. And now in this tutorial, we will be enhancing our WordPress site using plugins. Now we've already talked a little bit about plugins in the, the screencast on securing the WordPress admin area. So if you can remember, We've um, added several uh, two plugins actually in order to help secure our uh, admin area. So if we go in the plugin section into installed, you can see here that we've added two plugins previously. Uh, the first one is this limit login attempts, uh, which uh, it locks up the admin area if you were trying to guess at the login for more than three times. And of course, we also installed a WordPress database or DB Backup. And this plugin allows us to easily generate backups on our WordPress um, database. So now in this tutorial, I will be showing you three more plugins that I found very useful. One, it, which is used to keep down on spam, and then two others dealing with SEO or search engine optimization related things. But before we do that, perhaps I should just go over what exactly are plugins. Well, WordPress plugins are script modules uh, that are used to enhance functionality on your site. Now, the main thing with plugins is that they are very, very easy to use. Plugin developers has pretty much done all the work upfront for you already. And so all you need to do is to download and activate these plugins, and most of them will work pretty much right out of the box. Okay, so let's move on to our first plugin. We have um, Ask Commit, which is the plugin that comes with your existing WordPress install. And as you can read from the description, Ask Commit monitors and tags potential spam comments for removal. And so this is a very important plugin that I think every WordPress install should have turned on. Okay, so let us try to activate it. Now you can see that in order to use Ask Commit, you must have a WordPress.com API key. So if you don't already have a WordPress account, then you should set one up so you can use uh, Ask Commit. So I'm just going to open up a new tab and show you where you could set it up. Go to WordPress.com. Now this is .com site and not .org. And then go to their website. If you don't already have an account, uh, hit sign up now. Otherwise, just log in and then go to the profiles page. Uh, and um, up at the top, it should display your API key. But if you don't have a WordPress account yet, just go in and sign up for it. This is super quick. Just fill in your username, uh, password, an email address, and um, check the legal service terms. And just hit uh, just a username instead of getting an actual blog and then just hit next and then follow the process and then after that it should pop up your profile page which will show you the API key right at the top here okay so I'll just let you do that if you are setting up a new account and just pause this to add uh, pause this video and then um, hit play again when you're done Okay, so I'm assuming you've gotten your API key. Make sure you copy that. And then go head back over to our um, admin panel for our WordPress site. And then hit enter your uh, API key link. And then just paste your API key in here. And then after that, hit um, check marks for automatically spamming, discarding spam comments and then hit update and you should say up top option saved obviously right now I haven't entered a key so it's asking me for the key but you should have your key and then you consider yourself done in terms of activating this um, the plugin so now the next thing we are going to look at is um, looking at installing an SEO related plugin known as Google XML Sitemaps. 
So this is can be added again under plugin section if you remember. Um, underneath there's an add new button. Click on that. That will open the install plugins page and we are searching for the name Google XML sitemaps. Now uh, this plugin Google XML sitemaps allows uh, you to generate automatically an XML sitemap that can be used by search engines like Google or Yahoo or Bing and that makes it easier for them to crowd through in order to better capture the content of your website and therefore this is a very very important plugin in my opinion so just go into make sure you are selecting the right one which is Google XML sitemaps and if you're dealing with a site that's in um, a different language, then it's perhaps useful for you to install with the Q Translate support. Otherwise, just a normal sitemap will do. And then just hit install. Again, um, going through the process, read through the description. It tells you what the, this plugin is about and what it would do. And then if you're okay with everything, including the compatibility of your version, just hit install. and it will be writing information to your folder and you can see it's now done and installed and so you can just activate it by clicking on the activate plugins link and now you can see that the plugin has been activated now it's uh, helpful for you to go into the settings to make some adjustments as required although um, things are pretty much already set up here so you can just ignore, well, um, for yours, it's not going to show up because mine, I've just blocked the privacy setting to prevent search engine from searching from um, a blank site, essentially this demo site. So you can ignore that. Now, um, what you need to do is to select the basic options. So um, most of these are already preset for you to be working. So it's going to generate the normal XML file with the zip file. Plus, it's going to notify updates of your blog to all of the different main search engines. And then um, if there is additional things you want to prioritize in terms of on your sitemap, then you can specify them here like uh, what to include in your sitemap, things like your homepage or posts or static posts or categories or archives, etc. And then there's also category that you might want to exclude from your sitemap. And also you can here specify the change frequency and this will help the plugin and the um, search engine to determine um, how frequently they should crawl your site. And of course, priorities of what is the most important page and what pages aren't as important. And then you can hit update options when you are done. And then also remember that um, when you are generating a sitemap, always hit this click here to build it in the first time uh, for the first time you're installing this plugin. And it would run a little while by itself in order to generate the sitemap. So right now it's crawling through, or not crawling, but it is looking at all the pages within your database in order to generate your sitemap. And it is done. Alright, so that was easy, hey? So we're done with the XML sitemap generator. And then we'll move on to our last plugin which is Headspace 2 SEO package. So going back into the plugins um, tab, click on add new again. And then in the search, type in Headspace 2 SEO.